made it to Rome, Italy. Beautiful out here. So I have, I'm gonna show you a little something. When you start getting YouTube checks, um, you could afford certain things. I got airport picker right here. What that says? Fernando Hernandez. That's me. How you doing, sir? Okay. So we out. That's the type of lifestyle I'm living. Um, if I can explain into words how I got here, I can't. I can't explain. I'm right now. I'm vlogging myself in the airport. Everybody's staring at me. So that's that's the sacrifice you gotta make to have trips like this. You know what I mean? That's the sacrifice you gotta make. We're gonna head over to the hostel. I probably won't vlog anything else for the rest of the night because we're gonna get the hostel. We're gonna grab something to eat and. Uh, after that, we might hit the hay. I don't know, it's after that you go, you come off a flight, you just feel drained, you just feel tired. And it's already kind of late anyways. But tomorrow we're gonna wake up early. We're gonna hit it hard. Tomorrow's not gonna be the cheat day. Tomorrow's Friday. I think we're gonna have the cheat day Saturday. So tomorrow we just be chilling, vlogging areas, exploring, because Rome is beautiful. I'm excited for Rome, I'm excited for Rome. I'm really excited, so. I'll see you when we get there. I'm gonna show you the hostel. Yeah, okay, I definitely will show you the hostel. So see you when I get there. What's good with it? You're staring at me. Peace. I mean, when they said professional, I knew it had to be professional. When they said professional airport pickup, I don't even know if you can see me, but they said professional airport pickup. I knew it had to be a Benzie. You can't pick me up in nothing but a Benz. That would have been a close call, but he came through. So supposedly the driver that picked us up from the airport um, let the the concierge or the clerk know a little bit too late. So he got here like 10 minutes after us. So we were like, didn't know what to do. We thought it was closed or whatever, but we here chilling. There's a room right here. You already know this is my bed and Joe and Kyle sharing that bed. So we're gonna see if we get something to eat. We still gotta situate payment and all of that for the hostel, so guess I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Damn. Not, not the cheap day. Food look good though. <laughs> it's something. Oh, why you take forever to eat, bro? Why are you so fat? You call me fat? No, why are you so fat? Oh, alright. Oh, uh, today Enjoy it's not the cheat. Today's Friday, so today's not the cheat day. Um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna um, try like go to like different areas of touristy spots. Not a lot, just a little bit, and then we'll also do some Saturday too for the cheat day video. So I'm thinking we're gonna I'm gonna send out a video with yesterday's lift on top of getting to Rome and then what we do today and that will be like a pre-video to the Rome cheat day to give you guys a little something instead of you know waiting a whole week or more for a, you know a cheat day in another country so I love you so I'm gonna do that for you peace I say that about every country, but every country is a different experience. Rome is beautiful. I love it. I don't even know what's behind me. I think it's the 16th chapel. I could be wrong. If I am, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Anyways, this is first technically the first day in Rome. We had the breakfast, and then we went back to the crib, and we showered and everything like that. And we were trying to go to the Vatican, and we just ended up here. And this is this is amazing. I I have the camera flip, so I don't even know what you can see. But if you can just see my face, that's beautiful enough. But I really do hope you get to see this background. It's amazing. It is beautiful. Um, we want to wait in the line. 
we have two options. We have the option to pay for a guide. In that case, we skip the line and we get like a little tour. And I think we have to pay like 60 euros or something like that. Or we could wait in line and get in for free, have a little self-guided tour. But the line is like an hour and a half. So I'm gonna talk to my boys, see what they wanna do. But yo, <laughs> I'm excited. I I'm, I'm really am excited. There's so many people here. So many people, so many eyes watching me. I feel like a star. I feel like a superstar. All right, before y'all kill me in the comment section, it's not the 60th Chapel, it's the St. Peter's Basilica. So, I'm sorry. I don't know how loud I could be in here, even though I'm pretty loud. Um, I guess this is St. Peter's Cathedral. St. Peter's Basilica. St. Peter's Basilica, I don't know the difference, but uh, it's, I mean, the, the architects is, it's, um, it's amazing in here. I'm not even, I can't even lie. Just the sculptures, the paint, the material, the gold is just, it's beautiful in here. Honestly, I gotta find my boys. I lost them. So I'll show you some more clips of this. Peace. <sighs> Literally here, like, I don't even know what any of these sculptures mean. It feels kind of weird. Um, just being so ignorant to a certain religion, like just not knowing, trying not to be like prejudiced and everything. Um, I don't even know. I just went into a section that was like, a sector was like, um, like couldn't have my phone or anything like that. It was only like for prayer and like I just, I didn't even know. I just went in and it just was like a crazy vibe and I just like left like two seconds after. Um, but nonetheless, this is probably the most beautiful piece of history, piece of art, piece of culture that I've seen in my life, face to face, you know, physically, um, even in my time in Spain, in my time in Germany, and um, I'm happy, I'm really happy I came in here, so I think uh, this is it for me inside of here, so let's see what's next, peace. I just want to clear the air, like I feel like I seem depressed in those videos, I don't know, it was just like a, it definitely was a a great experience. It was just like a weird vibe. Just being in like a giant basilica, cathedral, church, whatever. Um, all those sculptures, all those paintings. I didn't know uh, anything meant, and it was just, it was just a, a different vibe for me that I just, I just couldn't get used to it. So I had to leave. So I'm just, um, my boys are in there. They're in the souvenir shop. So wait for my boys. We're gonna head over there, and then the next time y'all see this beautiful face, hopefully it'll be in the Vatican Museum. Peace. to the Vatican Museum, it closes at four, and by the time we got there, it was already like 3.30, so, and the line was probably like an hour, hour and a half anyways to even get in, so it was no point. We're gonna do that tomorrow. We were just walking around, and I guess uh, behind me is the Spanish Steps. I don't really know, a lot of people sitting on it, and I don't even know what's the hype. I don't even know if you can see, but I'll go like this. I don't know what's the hype about this fountain behind me, but literally everybody That's is. Not. That's not the hype one. Yeah, I don't, but everybody behind me is like taking pictures of it. I don't know. Anyways, um, we're going to end the vlog here. I, had, I hope you guys enjoyed the, where were we at? The Basilica. Basilica. I hope you guys enjoyed this Spanish steps. Tomorrow will be the cheat day, 100%. And tomorrow we'll also show uh, the Vatican Museum, which I'm excited for. So if you enjoyed the video, you already know. Like, subscribe. If you have anything to say about it, any feedback, 
comment. Right. Peace, peace. <laughs>